Several Georgia communities are now requiring face masks in public, but which type is the best? As researchers at Florida Atlantic University show us, not all face coverings are created equal. These researchers were not trying to create the perfect model of droplet and aerosol spread through masks. They really set out to create a practical and visual demonstration of the performance of three different masks. A mask made of a folded handkerchief, a homemade mask made of two layers of cotton and fabric, and a simple dome mask. Have a look. Using a mannequin head and fog maker to create a visible aerosol highlighted by a green laser, the researchers created a simulated cough. A light cough without any face covering spreads the aerosol mist a short distance, but a simulated heavy cough without a face covering expelled aerosol three feet away within two seconds and six feet away by 11 seconds. They also showed the effect a light breeze had on the aerosol spread. While the breeze does disperse the aerosol, it moves the particles downwind. Now looking at the spread of the aerosol with a folded handkerchief or bandana to block it, you can see that it leaks a significant amount of aerosol through the mask face and at the top edge. Using a homemade stitched fabric mask with a simulated cough found a much better reduction in the amount of aerosol spread into the air. The spray doesn't go much beyond three inches from the mannequin face, but there is still leakage at the top of the mask. Now, finally, the researchers used an off-the-shelf cone-type mask. It's important to point out that although it has the same shape as some N95 respirators, this is not an N95 respirator. Now, interestingly, the amount of aerosol that penetrates the front of the mask travels farther than the aerosol from the hand-sewn mask. And again, there is leakage from the top of the mask.